Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nate, and I am back with another Pokemon TCG uh, review slash poll video. I am going to be opening up the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash Build and Battle Box. Inside, you'll find a 23 card evolution pack, including one of four unique foil promo cards for Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Rebel Clash booster packs and a code card for the Pokemon TCG Online game. Ooh, I believe, let's see here, this guy retails, it's for $20, something like that, $22. Picked it up at GameStop the other day, had a couple of $5 off promo codes uh, that I was able to apply to it, so I figured, why not? Might as well get it kinda cheap if I can. It's got that sweet box art, as always, on these. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, it flips all the way around to the back side. Ooh, it's another sleeve, very neat. Packaging on these uh, these items is very very cool. Of course, you're paying an extra buck or two um, overall for your packs. Typically, you're not getting a dollar for dollar on that, but it's kind of cool. Let's check out what's inside. I guess the actual thing itself can be used as a, as a storage box of some kind. Is that correct? Oh, it looks like. Doesn't seem like it's pretty very easy to use, but we'll see, we'll see. What do we got here? We got Ooh, Galarian Pokemon are ready to rock. Very neat. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I think we've got the amped up form, I believe, with the yellow spikes, that sweet yellow mohawk of toxicity. Um, let's see, this must be the contents again. This is the 23 card evolution pack, and it includes one of four hollows, so I guess this flapple must be my hollow. <laughs> get much pomp and circumstance with this one. It's got that Rebel Clash. It is marked as a promo card. Flapple. Very neat. Let's see what else we got in here. Of course, you're gonna need Applin if you're gonna have a Flapple. Turfield Stadium, Milo, Dan. Just a normal guy named Dan. Presser's Research, Caterpies, Metapods. And a Butterfree. Ooh, this is technically a rare card. Very neat to get that. Carcoal, Roly Coley, Quick Ball, not as cool as the other Quick Ball we got. A Hop, another Milo, another Dan, just because you need more than one Dan. Barboach, and a Wish Cash, which also is a rare card. And then there's the code for that. Kind of, kind of neat that you get, you know, a third, maybe, of the cards you'd need to build a full deck, a couple of trainers, a couple of, um, a couple of evolutionary lines, most notably you're not, they're not wasting your time with a bunch of extra, uh, energy cards, and since we had that, uh, one of the, if you get picked up one of the elite trainer boxes, or maybe another deck in the series, then you obviously have enough trainer cards to build your own. Let's see here. Oh, I think they included all of the all of the package arts. So we've got a Cinderace here, an Inteleon, a Rillaboom, and then a Tro Toxtricity, which I believe again is the amped up form. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get any luck. Pulling with these four. Hopefully we got that right. Water energy. See, look, we're already on our way to a complete deck. Zatsu, Lombre, 
the Galar Mine. Magic Heart. Metatite. Stunky. It's kind of a vivid purple on there. A Grubbin. Wingle. Skunk Tank. Nice. So we got the, the full line there. Reverse Holographic. And a Galarian Darmanitan with his very huge afro, snow fro maybe, is that what we'd call it? Pretty cool, that's for our rare card. Let's see there. Pretty interesting, I, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm believing that by the end of this, the idea is that you would have most of your way towards uh, a full deck of, of cards if you were actually interested in playing um, the T the trading card game in person. A um, little harder to play that in person right now with uh, the current state of things, but um, using those promo codes, I mean, you could definitely build a deck uh, online, which is cool. And if you got friends that are playing the game too, then uh, you know keep the fun going. Got a dark energy shuckle. Another Dan. Dan is the man, and he is all over the place here. Twin Energy, very cool. Scursive. Stuffle, who is just, in my opinion, one of the cutest little bears. I loved him. Uh, I was so excited to get him. I believe he was, uh, is he Sun and Moon? I can't quite remember which game he came in, but uh, very excited when I was able to pick him up. Impidimp. A Shinx. Heracross, Reverse Hollow. All right, that looks rather neat. Ooh, we got something good here, don't we? Ooh, Nine Tails V. Very beautiful card. Gosh, I just love the art for all of these. She's looking off into the distance as if, as if she's looking for something. I don't know what that thing is, but maybe we'll find out as we open more packs. Let's see here. Centering looks pretty good on the back. I think the card overall is really nice. I love the, the flame swirls around this card. What what a beaut. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in one of our trademark Zamzenta sleeves now. What a beaut. We'll put that over here for later. Not bad. Hitting on one out of two so far. Hopefully we'll keep that lucky streak going here. Four is the card trick. Yeah, I picked uh, picked these up at uh, GameStop the other day. Just wanted to use some discount codes that I had laying around. Um, they had a special deal in BD where uh, if you went in, you could get some extra card sleeves. You bought three booster packs, which I of course did Litwick, which was pretty nice. The guys in there are always cool. Some of them are into Pokemon, so it's nice to be able to talk shop. Applin, Hatina, Lombre is our reverse hollow, and then a Wishcash. Well, that's going to go good in that, uh, that starter deck that we just got. I'm not super keen on it, but it's, some people might like Wishcash. It kind of looks a little, uh, you know... He's tired or scared there. Uncertain for sure, I would say. Let's see what this last pack has in store for us. Let's see here. Here's your code. Two, three, four. What do we got for energy this time? Ooh, lightning energy swooshing in from nowhere. A duo blade. What a beast. That was such a cool Pokemon. That is uh that was from X and Y, I know that for sure. Charger Bug. Scyther, Scyther. Volibee. Dreepy. Which is drowsy and creepy combined? I don't know. He's kind of cool. Magmar. Just blowing smoke. Galarian Yamask. He is really cool. I know the... Runifergus, I believe, is the name of his evolution in, in Galar. is pretty cool. 
an Electabuzz Reverse Hollow, just an uncom, just a just a common card, but still kind of neat, and a Sigilyph for our rare. All right, so a couple a couple cool cards. I don't have a lot of cards from this Rebel Clash um, collection yet, so those guys are going to be able to to round that out. So far, we've only really pulled this Nine Tails V, which is a pretty cool card. I personally was always a fan of Nine Tails. Um, big fan of Bullpix, obviously one of the the cutest Pokemon. And then when uh, Sun and Moon came out, we switched over to uh, Alolan Bullpix, which I think is probably one of my favorite uh, region-specific Pokemon. Just the the snow, the white on blue, just just a just a cutie from uh, start to finish. I'm just gonna pop open really quick one of these Darkness Ablaze double packs. I think uh, earlier today, I threw about probably 30 minutes. Uh, just to pick these up. They're the last ones kind of in my area. I've been looking around uh, for them for the last couple of days um, just to see if there's any left. And I've been clearing out local shops. I think I've gotten only four of them, so it's not like they're uh, not the, not like they were in really uh, high demand. They're gonna uh, say probably more or less retired now, but we'll see what happens when. Uh, Maybe, maybe Black Friday or something, they'll make a comeback. We'll see what we got. For this, Darkness of Blaze. I had some really good luck with the Darkness of Blaze um, pulls the other day, so I thought, man, I might as well see if I can keep that streak going. Grass Energy, Doug Trio, Rare Fossil, Simisage, Puddus. Cathita, Skarmory, which if you play Pokemon Go in the Great League is a pretty, pretty good Pokemon for trainer battles. We got a Ch Cub Chew, Wimpod. It took me forever to find that guy in the uh, Sun and Moon game. He's always running away from you. A Reverse Rare Muck. Very cool. I've never seen a Dark type Muck before. Triple Poison. Very neat. And then a Serena as our final rare. Time out kick. Very cool. And back to the. Got a Zamazenta on the front here for the Sword and Shield base set. I'm very down with the Zamazenta cards. I think that uh, he is just probably one of the most interesting and unique. Legendaries that we've had in a while. I mean, maybe not. Maybe unique isn't the best way to put it. We have kind of had a lot of legendary dog wolf type Pokemon in the past, I suppose. But uh, I thought the Dauntless Shield and the Sacred Sword uh, were very, very neat additions uh, to kind of soup up those Pokemon. Lightning Energy. Ooh, Rhydon. Eldegas, Air Balloon, Ball Toy, Chinchow, Sizzlepede, Galarian Zigzagoon. Good, now I've got all three of them. Muna, and I'll definitely have to keep you guys updated on my pulls. I've been uh, using the, the tracker that you get in the Elite Trainer box to kind of mark off the Pokemon cards that I've got from each set right now, in addition to the Reverse Hollows and Hollows, which is kind of a cool way to do that. And we got a Drizzle Reverse Hollow, very cool. And then, ooh, neat, Galarian Rapidash. Very cool. I think some people, when Galarian Ponita was first released, were very excited about it, because, I mean, look at her. She's just beautiful, but... Uh, I think once they saw the psychic typing initially, a lot of people were pretty disappointed. You know, why not a fairy? Why not a fairy? But I think overall, a very, very cool, unique form for the Galar region um, for this Pokemon. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, so what 
opened up a couple packs, only really pulled that Nine Tails card uh, so far. So I think I just want to pull a couple more, see if we can get some luck going here, get on a little bit of a roll. Please recycle. I think I'm going to switch it up. We'll go with the G Max Snorlax. Not the Doterra Snorlax. Okay. Four cards. Here we go. Darkness energy. A Ferrothorn, Heat More, Metal Saucer, Hoot Hoot Are You, Pinchurchin. Wouldn't want to step on that guy. Volpix to go with our Nine Tails, a Nicket, very cute, Ball Toy, very cool. We've got a Reverse Hollow Dreadnought for our. Extra card. It is a hollow. It is a, a star. So that's or a rare card. So that's kind of nice to get that. Very cool. And you know, I'm just in love with the uh, the backgrounds on all of these. And a Camerant, of course. We would have to get one eventually. Surprised that there's not a Pikachu in this in this little uh, ten card that I pulled because you know how Camerants are just always looking to chow down on, a P on Pikachu for some reason. Seems a little aggressive, but, uh, you know, who am I to judge? Seems like they always spit them back out again, so, uh, you know, I guess no harm, no foul. Three, four. Let's see, this might be the last pack that I pull, so hopefully we'll get some last pack. Uh, car good karma going. Struggle Gloves. Combuskin. Pupitar, one of my... Not necessarily my favorite Pokemon, but in my favorite line of Pokemon, I am a huge fan of Tyranitar. I remember when he came out in Silver version a uh, long time ago, when I was finally able to get add him to my team. It was whew, one of the most exciting, uh, exciting Pokemon. Him and Lugia, I was a really big fan of Silver version. We've got a Squovit. As our reverse hollow, just sitting there hoarding his berries as always. Num 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 num. Got to be careful around him. He's gonna he's gonna eat them all up. And then a man neck trick. Okay. As our rare card. Well, this video is a little bit longer than I normally like to do, but I just you know I really have a hankering for opening up cards tonight. I just want to see what I can pull. And Really excited, hoping that we can kind of get a little bit more of a, some redemptions off of this. I, I mean, I feel like personally I have been doing rather well uh, on my pulls of late, but uh, let's see if we can get one more good card. And just to kind of recap, the uh, really the winner that we have tonight is this Nine Tails B. Um, again, a beautiful card, but we're uh, we're fishing for a little bit more. Than that tonight. Hopefully, these will have been worth that drive. Again, 30 minutes there and back again. A hobbit's tail. Three, four. Fire energy. Corscovire. Corvus. Corvus Squire. Hmm. Freight ball. Potion. Score Bunny, a Silicobra, Yamper, Grookey, Q Fant, a Clobopus, Reverse Hollow, and a Corbinite. Fitting as we just got his stage two. Very cool. Iron Wings. One of the I think one of the first Pokemon that was teased in the trailers for uh, Sword and Shield, one that I personally was very excited to get. 
get, I think the Ruka D was my third, second Pokemon I caught. I, uh, yeah, I started with Grookey this time, because I just kind of fell in love with that little green monkey, and then quickly caught a Yamper, and then a Ruka D, a Nickit. Um, yeah, I was, I used to actually filled up my roster rather quickly with, uh, Pokemon in the first, in the first area, Vibrava, Simiseer, Lunatone, Mareep, Snubble, Tauros, Rookity, Galarian, Mr. Mime, who, you know, just when you think Mr. Mime can't get any stranger, you add tap dancing, so, yeah, got our reverse hollow as a Nicket. Ooh, speak of the devil, Lugia, one of my favorite Pokemon. Just a standard rare, but still super duper cool to pool here regardless. All right, so we're just gonna go through this again. We uh, open this Rebel Clash box. We got four Pokemon TCG booster packs, and then we open three additional blister packs that included a bonus pack so we opened a full 10 packs today and you know our luck was just a little low we only ended up with one kind of okay card a nine tails v who again is really pretty but uh you know not not necessarily the rarest card out there right now um so hopefully that luck will pick up next time when we uh crack into this this is zamazenta v box i did pull this card just the other day um, so now I have two of them um, which I am okay with of course uh, but it's more it's always about the packs in here and some of the extras so we'll catch up with that later and uh, if you did enjoy the video um, please feel free to uh, leave a comment like and subscribe if you have suggestions or ideas on how I can improve my videos or um, ideas for future videos and content I uh, surely would appreciate it looking to get some additional items set up or additional things set up so collection videos uh, potentially maybe even some vlog videos um, as I do shop around and look for various deals and things and, and, and trying to find um, items in stores so uh, if, if you guys are interested in that just uh, just let me know down in the comment section below um, thanks again and have a good one